All right, this is what I pulled out of the plasma chamber. Uh, two pennies and a spring that I had a hunk of rock salt sitting on top of. And there is a small, right in the center, looks like a meteorite. A micrometeorite. The way the crystals are arranged on the outside, they look like uh, puzzles. Like, like it was rapid cooling on how micrometeorites, the rapid cooling gives that crystal uh, structure. Now this one here looks like it's got gills, almost like a mushroom gill on the bottom. This was almost a brand new looking penny. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in with this. Let's see if I can get it centered. That was a brand new penny. It's hollow. The outer shell in some places is so thin. I wish it didn't shake. Look at the structure. It's like woven leaves. You can't even explain what this thing looks like. And this was only in that chamber for a few minutes. I got it on film. Here's the piece of rock salt. Let's see if we can see this. It became embedded into the metal mesh. See if we can see this structure on the BB. If I can get this right. That tiny almost maybe. But anyways, that little tiny BB uh, looks like a micrometeorite. I think these would be awesome to look at inside of a electron microscope. This piece of salt inside it has structures. It instantly rusted. That was a brand new spring, and that piece of rock salt looked just like normal clear rock salt. Now it has these. No, this is terrible filming. Look at the colors that this thing. Purple, green, blue, gold. That's also a penny. Let me me flip this one over and see. Looks like gills of a mushroom. One of these angles. Okay. This is interesting. It looks like a tree. It did. This is the one that poured black. That looks like burnt wood. This is what that is. Looks like, and it turned completely black. And I just wiped it off like soot. Right there, it looks like really blue, green. Gold, silver. Uh, that would be really cool to look at inside of a something that you could really see the detail. Martin Fleischman with the Memorial Project talked to John Hutchison, took some samples out there. I'd like for him to see these ones. Tell me what he thinks. The one with the salt, there's little BBs on this one too. But that rock salt has a micrometeorite made out of the salt drip down between the spring. Look at them colors. Wow. And it'll change over time. Filming it now, then looking at it later, see what it looks like then. That looks like a living organism. Looks like a tree or some kind of... I don't know, it's hard to explain. It looks like skin and... Uh, I don't know. It does not resemble a penny at all. Okay, let's flip it. Let's turn it some more. Down this side. Uh, 
Looks like a dress or like a bag, a garbage bag. Okay, but look how thin this here is. You could see the transitions. It's a real nice uh, machine. You can analyze this. Look at the look at them colors. So pretty short truce. Gold. I, I never knew you could do that. That looks like wood. It's pretty interesting. And I would send these. I just. If I knew where to send them, I would send them. You can have them just post the uh, results. And Martin Fleischman does a wonderful job with what I watched him do. His analyzations and stuff. He could do this really nice. And uh, whatever he figures out, it'll help everybody. Help us all. Thank you.